Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you're enjoying this Sunday evening. And today I got a simple training for you guys. Um, we all know how, you know, getting into European vehicles in terms of key coding can be quite daunting. So I wanted to make a kind of an introductory video for those of you who are, you know, kind of unfamiliar with uh, working on VWs, okay? So with that, let's go ahead and jump into it. Today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to do an all keys loss on a 2013 Audi A4. All right. For those of you who are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Curtis Harden. I'm an Alltel Diagnostic Consultant. I align people right with the right tool strategy. I also offer services in terms of uh, J254 programming, and uh, the clients I sell to, I'll render uh, the services that you're going to see in this presentation. Okay, so. What you're going to be learning today, okay, tools required to conduct this procedure. You are also going to learn important terms and uh, regarding VW and Audi. And also, you're going to find out the location of the body control module. Now, this is something you need to get familiar with with working with these vehicles, okay? And then lastly, how to do an all keys loss with the IM608 on a 2013 Audi A4. Okay, so the tools that we're going to be using today is the Alltel IM608 Pro. You also are going to need your XP400 Pro serial programmer and your keys. Okay, now the location, I'm sorry, how to connect. The uh, IM608 tablet is going to be connected via USB to your XP400 Pro. Okay, and then I always recommend people doing a hardwired connection, okay, with your J-Box via USB cable to the tablet and then the 16 port pin OBD port plug into the, uh, to the vehicle, okay. Remember, if you take this serial programmer and you connect it directly to your J254, it's going to smell like some barbecue chicken, so do not do that, okay. All right, so some basic terminology, guys, okay. Um, automatic selection automatically identifies the VIN of the vehicle with the click of a button. When you're doing all keys loss and um, you're not going to have any success with this just because the keys are lost and the ignition really can't be turned on. Okay, so in other words, uh, when you go to the immobilizer app, all right, and you click this, it's, there's a big chance it's not going to identify the VIN. So in that case, you're going to go to manual selection. All right, so when the VIN is not automatically retrievable through the vehicle's ECU or, or the specific VIN is unknown, you can select the vehicle manually, okay, which, which is what 90% of the time you're going to do with these key operations. Smart selection. The smart mode automatically identifies the VIN and provides guided step-by-step -step instructions. So this is ideal for people who aren't sure what the uh, key procedure is. The smart selection will kind of guide you step by step on how to, to do the key operation. Okay. Expert selection. Expert mode provides skilled technicians a way to conveniently do individual emo related tasks. All the function options in this mode are selected by uh, system. So this basically means like, you know, how Audi has different system. There is a, uh, you know, emo four, there's emo five. You can select these uh, individually by that appropriate system and um, there's way more options when you go to expert selection so once you understand how to do the procedure um, expert mode is the way to go okay uh, component security or you're going to see on our tablet cs code what the cs code is memory data that are preset in the key in order to make a dealer key okay so to give you an example Actually, you know what? Let me let me go to that next term. Um, dealer key. Okay, a pre-configured key with a specific VIN. So uh, this basically means like it doesn't it doesn't mean you have to buy a key from a dealer. All, all it means is um, the key is pre-configured. So when you happen to buy it from a dealer, okay, they already pre-configured and, and code it to that VIN already. So when you go on the IM six hundred eight. You don't need to select the, op, the, 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 the prompt make dealer key because 
it's already pre-configured. If you purchase an aftermarket key, that's where you're going to need to, uh, you know, make the dealer key on the on the on the tablet. Okay. Um, key learning. Existing keys will be cleared first. Then the new keys will be learned through the ignition switch. Okay. So so these are pretty much the sequences we're going to be doing, and you're going to see this uh, when we do the pres the, the, the the training okay so if we look here this is the uh, BCM2 this is the body control module and it's located in the rear of the vehicle now when you're doing a lot of VW and Audi um, you need to get familiar with this because it's going to be used in a lot of scenarios okay especially if you're going to be uh, doing certain operations on the bench we need to remove it to get the CS code okay um, and in this presentation, however, uh, what we're going to be doing when the tool prompts you to power off the body control module, all you're going to do is uh, disconnect it to power it off. And then you go uh, back to the tablet and then the tablet will tell you to power it back on. OK, so just keep keep in mind um, where this is and, and what you need to do when the auto tells you, you know, when to power it off okay all right so now that we have the basics let's go ahead and do the all keys lost so first we're going to go ahead and click emo all right and then we're going to be presented with the terms and conditions and we're going to scroll down and select audi okay so now since I know this procedure, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and select expert selection, okay? All right, and then here you see we're presented with a lot of different options, okay? What we're gonna do, we're gonna click right here where it says uh, Emo uh, 5. All right, and then we're gonna click or it says Audi A4. All right, and then from here we're gonna go read emo data. Okay, we're gonna read it through the OBD. And these are the prompts. If it's a non-smart key equipped vehicle, insert the working key into the ignition and turn the ignition to the on position. And the when the instrument cluster lights up, press OK. Um, that's not applicable to us because we do have a smart key. So if this is a smart key, which is applicable to us, insert the key into the ignition or place it into this key sensing area. Turn off the ignition for a while and turn it on. If all keys are lost, turn the headlamps and hazard warning lamps and depress the brake pedal. So uh, mental note, guys, when you're doing um, procedures on VW and Audi, Okay, just always turn on your hazards when you're doing all keys lost. It wakes up the uh, ECU or the instrument cluster, and then that way you at least get some sort of communication. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click OK. And it's gonna establish uh, vehicle communication. All right, and then after that, it's gonna say turn off the body control modules all right or power it off so that's when we're going to go back to the vehicle and just simply disconnect it okay make sure that all the uh, cables are unplugged once that's done we're going to go back to the tablet and then we're going to click ok all right so we're going to click ok preparing and now it's going to prompt us to plug everything back up so we're going to go back to the vehicle Plug everything back up as normal, and then once that's done, we'll go ahead and uh, go to the auto and click OK. All right, so we've done that. And then now that we uh, have that, we're gonna click Read Emo Data, okay? So let's go ahead and do that. Okay, so right now it's trying to ex uh, get all the information. and we're almost done we're done so here it's going to present us with everything on the car the vin 
the CS code, which we, which we needed, the ECU software, and so forth. So once that's done, we're going to go ahead and click OK. All right. And then now we can make our dealer key because we have the CS code. All right. So remember, this is an aftermarket key. It's not pre-coded. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to go ahead and configure that key, give it that, that coding. All right. So place the blank key into the slot of the programmer and click OK. All right. So go ahead and do that into your XP400 Pro. Once that's done, it's going to establish communications with the key. All right, and then now we get a confirmation that the dealer key has been generated. Okay, so we're gonna click OK. And then we're gonna go on to our final step, which is click key learning. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and click that. All right, establishing vehicle communication. Now it's gonna ask us how many keys you would like to learn to the vehicle. In this scenario, we just have one key. So we're gonna leave it as that and we're gonna click okay. All right, so we have a little prompt here. All right, and then once we review that, we're gonna go ahead and click okay. And it's connecting with vehicle, please wait. All right, we have a couple prompts. All the keys have been identified and the key learning process has been complete. Okay, so from there we'll click OK. And that's all she wrote. We have learned how to do an all keys lost with the IM608 Pro. Now, just a few things to remember. If you are new to key coding, use a smart selection to guide you step by step, okay? Um, it's very, you know, uh, easy to do. You just literally follow you follow the instructions, and uh, it eliminates a lot of the guessing game. Okay. Uh, another thing to remember: if you're experienced, use the expert mode for the email options. Here, as I said, you'll find way more options than you will find on the smart selection, and um, I don't know. You just have more control when you have. Um, all those options available okay um, remember to obtain the CS code first to make the dealer key then you can learn the key to the vehicle okay so this is something that you you need to get familiar with when working with Audi doing certain procedures getting that CS code all right and a good habit to turn on your hazards when doing all keys lost to wake up the vehicle that way you can get communication when you're um, doing all keys lost on a VW or an Audi and then um, if you're not able to, to do the key coding via OBD, okay, in terms of getting the, you know, CS code, for example, that may be an indication that you need to do it on the bench, okay? And uh, I'm, I'm probably going to do another video on how to do that, um, uh, just so you guys will know, because a lot of people ask me, oh, Kurt, when do I do it? It really depends, you know, if we, it's a process of elimination, okay? So, uh, yeah, the guys, that's about it. Um, if you like this video, please go ahead and uh, like it, comment, subscribe. Um, and yeah, if you are you know looking for a diagnostic tool and you don't want to do it alone in terms of you know key coding and stuff, go ahead and book a consultation with me. If you you know need some uh, guidance on certain key procedures in certain vehicles, you can also book a consultation with me. I'd be more than glad to assist you. Okay. So with guy with that guys, I hope you have a great week. And uh, take care, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.